Yep, this is the image of a uh, cave story. Little drawing I made. <coughs> this one too. Yep. And there you have it. Basically different pictures right here, right? So And you cannot see it, but basically you got different colors here and then you got different functions. Now this is <coughs> not user friendly at all, so I have another one that's uh, user friendly. Let's see, where would that be? Uh, it's here two, I believe. That's what it is, load. And so it's got better interface right here, see. And that's the color that you get to choose. So <coughs> let's put up white canvas right here. And put up black ink right here. set black ink paint right there you can hit air press with stencil so let's say I want a blue one right here you can put in some kind of gradient in there you can put again heavy air brush stencil like this so it's half here and paint. Ta -da. Except there's no undo. <laughs> uh -huh. That one is a little mistake. That one says paint. But it's actually paint with border. This is regular paint. So the difference is the border you basically put uh, basically put a border here and something else here something else here and then this one which is the purple one with the paint you only paint this side over here see you only paint this side. but with the border you get to paint the whole thing until you reach this point right here until you reach the border so so there are different things like that so let's do something real quick. Uh, let's say you have this image right here. You can do a box line like this and instant lines like that. You can do <coughs> you can do big line too, which is a thick line over here. And since that's the border, we can do pin with border right here. Ta da Followed by regular paint. Ta da! Because you can just do it the usual way right here. 
and letting you have it like that. Or something else. <coughs> Just like that, very easy. <laughs>